Okay, when, when my wife, uh, when my wife took the shahada, she immediately decided to put hijab on her, on her, and to change her clothes and everything. And even I asked her, "Are you really sure about this? Because if you are not sure." She told me, yes, I am sure and I want, I want to put hijab. And even now, four years after, most of the people who knows me, who knows her, even who don't know us, they think that I told her to put hijab. It was, it was just her decision. She wanted to put hijab because she wanted to serve to God and she wanted to, to do this, you know. And it was not my decision. Even now, I'm, I'm always saying it's not about ah, people, ah, you are so tough guy. You probably dominate with her and tell her to put, no, it's not my choice. It was her choice. Can and you see the birds? They flying. That nothing keep them uh, in the sky. That only God keep them up. So hold down. I don't want to tell you everything about this. Keep on with the Dean Show. This is 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 the Dean Show. Ladies and peace. Assalamu alaikum, guys. How you doing? We're at the Life Changing Factory, and you're going to find out why. We're here with Nadim Babich. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you, brother? Alhamdulillah. You have a beautiful facility here in Sarajevo, that's the capital of Bosnia. And he started with that greeting of peace. Peace be with you. So it says, well, let's start with that. Why, why your motto is Life Changing Factory. So tell us a little bit about that. Okay, regarding my trainings and my system door training, I work on functional workouts, but my, my philosophy, life changing factor, it's not about only about training your body. I, I like to change the uh, philosophy of mind with the people, you know, that start living the, the training, you know. This is the, one of the, one of the reasons why it's the life changing factory. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest killers is the ego, and you actually have on your wall a, a list of points and what's the number one point that's in there? The, the number one point is to leave your ego outside of my gym. The point of that is it's not important how much, you are, how much money you have, are you poor, are you rich, what kind, uh, what kind of university you finish or something. It's important that just you came in my gym to train. This is the one of the, one of the reasons why is to leave the ego outside, mm -hmm. outside of the gym, yeah. Now, not only are you a successful business entrepreneur with probably the most successful gym, in the probably in the Balkans, you know this whole area, but you're also someone who's dedicated to your dean. How long ago did you start reflecting about the purpose of life and living your purpose? Alhamdulillah, um, I start thinking. Okay, I grew up in in uh, every people who lives here know that we grow up in very mixed uh, environment, and uh, I start thinking about this when I was 18, maybe 18, 19. And I'm practicing the, alhamdulillah, the, 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 the salah and everything already probably 20 years. I'm 38 years old and you can get, I will say, out of the road, but you have to always come back to your God, to Allah, and everything will be good. Because, uh, and the, some other things that I'm always using, it's, can I say some I? Yes, absolutely, yes. Yeah. We'd love to, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I like uh, Surah Mulk. It's, uh, I don't know how to say in English, it's power or something like that. Mm -hmm. There's the one ayat that telling, أَوَّلَمْ يَرَوْا إِلَى الطَّيْرِ فَوْقَهُمْ صَافَاتِ وَيَقَبِدْنَ مَا يُمْسِكُهُنَّ إِلَّا الرَّحْمَانِ إِنَّهُ بِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ بَصِيرٍ I will try in English that like, can you see the birds, they flying, that nothing keep them uh, in the sky, that only God keep them up. So I, I try to, to act like this, you know. I'm working and everything, but I always put my back on the and on Allah alhamdulillah this is giving me a lot of power and I have one sentence when I say what I see the other people cannot even imagine because I know that that when you believe in Allah everything is possible that's right when you believe in the Creator anything is possible yes. you also have a unique story with your wife she comes from a, a background Russian uh, yeah. Orthodox Christian share that story with us please oh this is the very uh, interesting story I think my wife she's Orthodox Russian she grew up in uh, she grew up grew up on north of Russia. It's the uh, name of city is Arhangelsk. It's the north. I think that they ever saw any kind of Muslim over there. Even it's now 2019, and they just got first mosque there ever. So uh, uh, she moved here as Orthodox and married me uh, six years ago. And the first two years of marriage, she was always asking me some question about Islam. 
and I was giving her some answers and she tried to have uh, of course I told her that in my house is Islam and my, gr my children will grow up as a Muslims and everything she, she accepted this and I told her I don't uh, I don't have anything against your religion like uh, like uh, I in Quran lakum dinukum walidin your religion to you my religion to my me but uh, day by day she was uh, listening some lectures g giving me some uh, questions and one time she after two years she asked me can she go to visit her mother in Arhangelsk in Russia and, uh, and of course she went over there after one month she came back and she told me I want to convert Islam I want to took shahada uh, the point is when I asked her uh, of course uh, I mean me as a Muslim who born as a Muslim here in Bosnia and Sarajevo uh, it was very interesting even for me why did you do it this because I, I never put any kind of force like in, in Quran it's written there is no force in religion I never put she told me everything is clear because you have answers for every every question in Orthodox I could not find the uh, answer for everything and she told me when I was in um, in Russia I, I told to myself I want to go in Russia again to try to not think about Allah to not think about creation and everything but whatever I saw tree or grass and everything I was like, oh Allah made this so beautiful and she told me when I was in a plane flying uh, I was thinking I know all true but I didn't took shahadat and I was scared so she came here and alhamdulillah she took shahadat it was Ramadan and by now alhamdulillah she is praying five times per day she is uh, alhamdulillah on a on good way Together we are to here. That's one of the things when a human being is reflecting, pondering, and they want to know the truth, that is the first thing that one has to decide. Are they going to be just seeking the worldly pleasures? But she was a thinking woman, and she started to think, and Islam provides all the rational, logical, logical evidences that it is indeed from the creator of the heavens and the earth. There is one myth that we are already a couple in here because she's a woman and one of the myths out there is that Islam oppresses, subjugates women. It was on her free choice. She was a thinking woman. Yes. So she, again, this is, this is an intellectual decision she made. She looked at the evidences, everything's clear, the worship of the Creator, not the creation, the Quran, putting it to the test. And then from there, we already we, we cleared one myth that there's more women actually coming to Islam. Now the third thing is, here especially in this region, we see that a lot of people, even from the Serbian Croatian background, they're coming to Islam, but many people think like, how can you be Muslim if you're Serbian? How can you be Muslim in, in Croatian? Let's dispel that myth now. I will be honest with you, the, I think that is not only for Muslim in Bosnia and, and this area, I think there are people who born in Islam, I'm saying like, like from the parents who are Muslims, they always thinking that Islam is their private uh, thing, you know, that like that nobody can be Muslim if he's not born in Islam, if he's not born by Muslim parents. And the, the point is when the, it was happened even, even similar with my wife, when she converted to Islam, alhamdulillah, and when she, when she put hijab and everything, everybody was thinking he forced her on this. And uh, honestly, it was a true lie. I, I didn't want an, any time to, to argument about this because the God knows the best. And the, the point is that Islam is the, for, for all people, all kind. So it's not a private thing. If God wants to give you on right way, He will give you. He will, if want to left you on the bad way, He will left you. So the, the, the Islam is like this. So if you want to come in Islam and Creator want to put you on the right way, He will put it. He will put you. Beautiful. So we covered some gems here. Islam unifying Croatians, Serbians, Bosnians, Russians, anyone who wants to submit their will to the Creator of the heavens and earth, live a purposeful life. You can find all those answers in this beautiful way of life, Islam. And if you want to go ahead and get a great workout and join the, the factory Gym champion. Gym, gym champion. Be a gym life champion. Life changing factory. Life changing factory. They can come and visit you here. Where, where can they come see you? We have a website. You can check all information on our website, gymchampion.ba. Thank you very much for visiting me here with your friends. I am very uh, honored for thank you. Thank you. Big thank you. Alhamdulillah. May Allah bless you. Ameen. And thank you guys for tuning in here from Bosnia, Sarajevo. Peace be with you. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.